Oh boy, this one has really been in the news in the last day or so, right? The Washington Commander's trademark was denied. Wow. So now everybody is screaming, you're going to have to change your name. Now, that doesn't, <clears throat> excuse me, that doesn't necessarily mean that the Washington Commanders are going to have to change their name. It just means they're going to have to go through a little, couple little hoops in order to secure a trademark. But it does raise an important question. Will the new ownership with uh, Josh Harris go through those hoops, or will he take this opportunity to decide, you know, eh, the fans don't really care for the name that much. I don't care for the name that much. I'm going to use this as a kind of an escape goat, kind of an excuse to go ahead and do another rebrand because I want to be a fan favorite. I want to do what most of the fans kind of want to see happen anyway. I don't think the fans really enjoy Commanders. So let's take this opportunity to rebrand. Now, a lot of... Uh, I won't say a lot, but you have some vocal minority of the fans that are screaming, no, it's going to cost a lot of money, it's going to take a lot of time. Well, the money issue, it may be a moot point anyway, because what if they have to rebrand? What if it becomes such a money issue? Because you're going on a lot of assumptions anyway, right? You're going on the assumption that there's not going to be any money that has to be paid um, in order to secure the trademark um, from the two existing, for one thing, the existing trademark of the Commander's Classic. And yeah, you know, that one is probably an easy hurdle to get through. But this other one that we have been following uh, for long before the name was changed. The, the other one is the pending application filed by a D.C. area man um, who filed for, um, and it's Martin McCule. McCule, is that his last name? Um, we've seen him post on Twitter a lot, and he has he is what you call the uh, the trademark squatter. He files trademarks for all of these different variations of names uh, that the Washington football franchise had possibly could have secured uh, as a new name. He went and filed all of these variations for Red Wolves, for Red Tails, for Red Tail Hawks, and all of this, uh, and also for Commanders. He went and Washington Space Commanders and Washington Wolf Commanders. And so because of that, uh, he, he filed these, uh, these trademarks, which is also a block. Now, um, here is what are the next steps. As for the Commander's Classic registration... Uh, the team can file a response arguing that the NFL team is unlikely to be confused with a single college game. And that's likely to be a winning case for the Washington Commanders. I don't think that anybody would confuse a football team, a national pro football team, to one single college game. But maybe, maybe they will. I don't know. Um, that one, I think, could be a, a pretty easy hurdle uh, to, to get past. The other one, attempt to buy out the rights or sign a coexistence agreement with the other one. Now, uh, Martin has always maintained the, um, the idea that he is willing to sign over those trademarks for free. And while that's very generous... Why would he go and secure these trademarks, pay the money to secure all these trademarks, and then just to sign them over to the team for free? That doesn't make sense to me at all. I don't think that he would do that. Honestly, there is a reason behind why he would 
go and squat on all of these trademarks. He's going to get something out of it. And I, I don't think he's just going to sign them over. I think he's going to want some money out of it. And likelihood, if the commanders, if Washington truly wants to, to be married to that moniker, they're going to have to probably attempt to buy out his rights and he's going to post it for however much that he is uh, you know, willing to, to sign it over for. Um, <clears throat> but, I mean, yeah, he, he said in the past that he's willing to help, but who knows? Who knows with, uh, with uh, Martin? I mean, it, it, it's an interesting situation with that. Um, what would what do you think that the new ownership should do in this uh, situation? Do you think that they should just cut bait with the commanders? Because here's the thing, they're also going to be in the same situation if they go with uh, Red Wolves. Um, there's also trademark issues with that that they would have to work through. Now, some have argued that it would be an even more um, uh, even more of an issue to work through red wolves or wolves than it would be with um, with commanders. So now we're getting into the argument of uh, degrees, and so. My argument with that then is, well, if you're going to have to work through any sort of uh, trademark issues, then you might as well go all in on what is the fan favorite. Um, and that comes down to majority rule. It always comes down to majority rule. I mean, that's the only way that you can really uh, maintain order in anything. You're always going to have people who's going to hate whatever name that you go with. That is a fact. But I think majority of people hate it commanders. And you're always going to have some people who are going to buy into each and every little thing that the football franchise does um, because they see no wrong in the franchise whatsoever. And then you're going to see some of us are going to be like, yeah, I just don't like it. You know, I, I ultimately want to see the team win on the field, but I just don't like it. And I am fine with them rebranding again. I have no qualms about that whatsoever. If they remain the commanders, you know, so be it. Um, I've never loved the name, but I can get used to it if they start winning on the field. Um, but I am not one of those that... Um, feel like that you have to be some woke person and um, be scared of the name Redskins because I am clearly aware and I've done my research on on that whole topic. So um, I still love the Washington Redskins and will always love that as well. Uh, always love the idea of changing it to Washington Warriors or anything that would have Native American imagery because, quite frankly, I think the eradication of any sort of Native American imagery pretty much diminishes that whole community and then suddenly nobody wants to hear anything about the Native Americans and that is my opinion on that. So overall, I think that if there's any issues that is going to wind up with this trademark, then you possibly could see another rebrand and I also believe that there's been so much work in the background already uh, from the previous rebrand I don't think you're starting back from scratch as a matter of fact I think there's been so much work on that already that it could be a much faster and easier process and there could have been things already produced um, I mean, think about it. Do you think that when it comes to rebrands, I, I seriously doubt that you don't you didn't have other things produced as kind of a plan B, plan C, prototypes and things like that, that you just went with one idea. Well, maybe this franchise possibly, but 
Um, in any other business, you tend to have other prototypes, you tend to have other ideas kind of already produced just in case. And that could have been the case here. So if there happens to be an issue to where there's a rebrand, again, I don't believe it would be the same lengthy process as it was before. Now, yes, it would be expensive to have to turn around and do it all over again, but guess what? If they don't have a trademark, they're not going to make any money off of their, their brand right now. So that is a big problem, and it comes down to money. If they can't make any money off of it, they're not going to stick with it. Uh, so anyway, let me know in the comments section what you think about this. It's very interesting, um, but we need to talk about football and we need to talk about OTAs. And so let's do that in the next video. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.